This is the Aftermarket Radio Network. It's your weekly blitz with Chris, keeping you in the game. Are you ready to supercharge your auto repair business? This is Coach Chris Cotton from AutoFix Auto Shop Coaching. The Weekly Blitz is where industry expertise and business innovation collide, revving your engines for the week ahead. Every episode has game-changing insights, up-to-the-minute industry updates, and practical tips to shift your business into high gear. We're talking about stuff you didn't even know you didn't know, folks. If you haven't done so yet, please check out one of the other great podcasts on the Aftermarket Radio Network. Are you tired of cookie-cutter marketing that doesn't resonate with your customers? Brian and Kim at Shop Marketing Pros understand. They were once shop owners themselves. They offer comprehensive marketing solutions to help build your brand and attract new customers. Items such as social media management, targeted advertising like Google Ads and Facebook Ads, content marketing, search engine optimization, and website design. Shop Marketing Pros, let's grow your business together. Find out how they can fuel your success at shopmarketingpros.com forward slash Chris. Hey, Blitz fans, Coach Chris Cotton here. Are you chasing greatness or are you just okay with hanging out in the middle? Today, we're breaking down a speech that's shaking locker rooms and boardrooms alike, and it's something that I keep front of mind every day. It's pissed off for greatness by the legend Ray Lewis. So we're going to play a clip real quick, and then we'll come back and talk about it after that. Let me tell you something. If tomorrow wasn't promised, what would you give for today? Forget everything else. Forget everything else. Forget that there was any sunlight left. What would you spend today thinking about? Yourself or the man that's beside you? Or the man that you know you'd give everything in your heart for? We get one opportunity in life, one chance in life to do whatever you're going to do, to lay your foundation, to make whatever mark you're going to make, whatever legacy you're going to leave, leave your legacy, and it's found through effort. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen, but effort, nobody can judge effort, because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. So that team that think they're ready to see you, that think what they seen on film, they ain't saw what film shows. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature now than I was five minutes ago. Because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you're okay with being mediocre. There ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. So let's do what we do. Tonight, sure. we ain't got to worry about taking the breath. When I think about the speech and what it means to me, uh, some of my key takeaways are, are number one, urgency. He talks about if tomorrow wasn't promised, you know, Ray jolts us out of complacency. We, rock, we walk around like we got all the time in the world. Tomorrow ain't guaranteed for nobody is what he says. And also tomorrow isn't guaranteed for your auto repair shop. Next, he talks about sacrifice. What are you willing to give today? 
This isn't just about wanting greatness. I want to challenge you to go the extra mile, get out of your comfort zone, and stop putting off what you can do today for tomorrow. Next, he talks about rejecting mediocrity. What is pissed off for greatness as a mindset? What is pissed off energy? This energy, if you're not familiar, if you played football, you'll know it's controlled anger and it's channeled into relentless improvement. One of the things I think we've lost sight of, like when I was a young man and we started playing football in the sixth grade in the town where I grew up, we didn't have like little league stuff like that. And Coach Ellerick, uh, may you rest in peace, sir, brought us into a room, all the sixth graders, and he talked to us about football, what football meant. And he asked us, what's the definition of football? You know, we came up with some lame stuff. We didn't really know. We were quiet. And he pulled out a dictionary, which I don't, I didn't think to look up before this episode to see what it is now. But in Webster's Dictionary in the, let's see, this would have been, gosh, the mid-1980s. And so he looked it up, passed it around. The definition of football back then was, or American football back then was, a socially accepted form of fighting. And so he talked about that. And next thing he had us do is he had a couple of us stand there. We put helmets on and we just banged our helmets against each other for a couple of minutes. Um, talking about not being scared of hits, collisions, et cetera. Anyway, I'm off the I'm off the topic. So when I think about rejecting mediocrity, like Ray Lewis is talking about, are you settling in your life? Where in your life can you raise the bar? I talk to a lot of shop owners. Well, I'm just not ready yet. And I'll do it later. I'll do it next month. I'll do it last month. I do um, shop analysis all the time, and we'll get through the end of it. I'll give them some things to work on. They'll work on it for four, five, six months, and they'll come back to me, and then they may re-engage me or update me. But pretty much every one of those shop owners says, I wish I would have started with you six months ago. Because all you're doing by putting off, working on things you want to work off, is you're just delaying the timeline. There's never time to have a baby. There's never time to move to the next level. The time is now, right? If you don't, if not now, then when? You know, when I think about what raise words, they're not just for locker rooms. That pissed off fire is for anyone chasing something big. If you think of yourself as a, uh, like in a shop, you've got athletes, which your athletes in your shop are, your technicians, service advisors, any of your support staff. Those people need to picture themselves in the heat of competition. And what unlocks that extra gear for them? What is their drive to dominate? And when I think about coaches, I think about shop owners, managers, you know, you see your player's potential, but how do you light that fire inside of them? And it's my job as your coach to light that fire, to light that fire inside of you. But if you don't have a coach, this is your wake-up call. This podcast is your wake-up call to be pissed off for greatness. If you're chasing greatness at an office, in a classroom, as a parent, Ray Lewis's intensity is that wake-up call. It's demanding that we ditch the excuses and take our goal seriously, Right. So I'm going to ask you this question. I want you to think about this. What pisses you off for greatness? What makes you refuse to settle? But also, if you're sitting on the sidelines, when are you going to step across the chalk and get your hand in the game, put 10 toes on the line and get after it? Okay? You know, Ray Lewis is a player. He was a force of nature. He was dominant. He was intimidating. He was the heartbeat of those legendary Ravens you know, Baltimore Ravens defenses. When we hear a leader like him speak with such intensity, we have to ask, does greatness always come with that edge? So Blitz fans, how far are you willing to go for your own greatness? Are you pissed off for greatness? If you're not pissed off for greatness, then why not? Why aren't you? Why don't you wake up in the morning being pissed off for greatness and with a passion for your business? This speech, it might get your blood pumping, but ultimately lasting greatness needs more than anger. It needs focus. It needs consistency and the kind of self-belief that doesn't waver. Your greatness might look totally different from Ray Lewis's, but it's about setting the bar high for yourself and refusing to settle for anything less. Blitz fans, that fire from Ray Lewis, I want you to keep it burning. Demand more from yourself, more from your team. If you think you've given all you've got, I'm here to tell you you haven't. It's time to take it to the next level. 
Let's all get pissed off for greatness together and go chase it. A big shout out to our listeners. Your dedication to growth fuels our passion. And let's not forget our fantastic sponsor, Shop Marketing Pros, who ensures this show is accessible to you. Where quality meets visibility, Shop Marketing Pros ensures your European or diesel repair shop stands out in a crowded market. Thanks for tuning into the Weekly Blitz. Remember, it's time to rise, grind, and keep your mindset positive. Be pissed off for greatness. Until next time, this is Coach Chris Cotton signing off. You've been listening to the Weekly Blitz with Coach Chris Cotton on the AftermarketRadioNetwork.com. Follow Chris on your favorite podcast listening app. Let him know what you'd like him to cover. His email is in the show notes. Chris is all for advancing the aftermarket.